What's happening? What's up, YouTube and Facebook fam? This your boy Red. So look what I woke up to this morning. This is what. I, look, you can see my car out there. That's what I woke up to this morning. Check that out. And so that's what I woke up to this morning. So what happened was, now that's the room I usually chill in. You know, a lot of times I sleep in that room, and uh. Cause I'm just too lazy to go up to my bedroom sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. And so I started to sleep in that room last night, but I heard a little small voice say, "Don't sleep in here tonight. You know, go up to your bedroom to sleep." So I obey, I obeyed that little small voice. Of course, we we know that little small voice was the Holy Spirit. And uh, so about six o'clock in the morning, I mean, I was I was in a deep sleep too, man. I was just chilling, and then I heard something like a boom. And I'm thinking, like, what the heck is this? And uh, so uh, I thought maybe somebody kicked my door in. I thought maybe somebody was trying to kill me or something. You know, came down there. And uh, so so I come down the steps and look out the, the fa look into the family room. And there is a vehicle in my family room, the front end of a, a car, a vehicle, a SUV in my family room. I said, what the heck is this mess? And so... Uh, called 911 and by the time I got out there the fire department was already there but uh but there's a spiritual lesson in all of this you know I just thank God that I didn't sleep in that room I could have got killed last night you know that could have been last night could have been my last night on this earth so that's there's a spiritual lesson in all of this stuff that you know we just don't know when our time is coming you know you you could be just sleeping you could be at home and a, a stray bullet goes through your house. I'm not trying to speak death on anybody, but I'm just trying to keep it 100. And you could just be minding your own business, man. And then next thing you know, tragedy just strikes. But uh, I got, let me read something out of Luke chapter 12, verses uh, 16 through 20, because... This, I think this ministered to me this morning, and I'm sure that it'll minister to you guys. It says, uh, and this is Jesus. He spoke a parable to, to this rich man. This dude was rich. He, and he said, well, you know what? I got so much money. Let's tear down these old barns and let's put up some new barns. And uh, Jesus is going to have something to say to him about that. So let's read what he has to say. And it says, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? Verse 18. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry but check out what jesus said in verse 20 he said but god said unto him thou fool this night this night this night thy soul shall be required of thee then with then with who shall these things be which thou hast provided so this dude was rich, he was wealthy, and he said, oh man, I got so much wealth, I'm going to have to build a new, build some new barns. And, uh, and Jesus said, you, you're a fool. Today your soul will be, this night your soul will be required of you. So we just don't know the day or the hour, man. I could have lost my life yesterday. I usually, there's a, I usually sit in the love seat right behind me where that big old hole is. And uh, I could have lost my life, man, but you know what? I'm still here. Probably the devil don't like the fact that I spend a lot of time in that room praying and I spend a lot of time in that, that room uh, worshiping. I spend a lot of that time in that room reading my Bible and he probably don't like it. But so, it was some young chick. Uh, my neighbor actually seen her and said she looked like she had been in a fight or something. She probably was high off some dope, probably was uh, drinking or whatever, partying. It was And so... And then she fled the scene. She left the truck behind, left her IDs and all this stuff behind. So the police is on it. But uh, as you can see, 
rabbits can go in and, side, in and out the house and all this, so I got to get this uh, thing boarded up. But, but this is a message that, man, get right with God, man, because you, you never know. You just don't know it, it, when your number is going to get pulled. You don't know. It could be this night. But, all right, well, I got to go. I love you guys, and I hope this bless you. God bless. I'll, don't worry about your boy, Reg. God will take care of me, and uh, I'll get all this mess. It's, these are only material things, and so, you know, it's it, you know, so we only got a short time on this earth. I'm 50 years old. If you study, like, Psalms chapter 90, it says that you usually get about maybe 70 or 80 years out of this body in on you know you only get like 70 or 80 years of life so i still got more time to uh wreak havoc on the prince of darkness you know so lord willing but just notice that you just don't know you don't know that what's going to happen from day to day so I'll be, get right with god get right with jesus christ if you haven't received jesus christ as your personal savior uh, I would because you know again verse 20 says but God said unto him thou fool this night thy soul shall be required of thee and so we don't know if it's going to be this night I didn't know it was going to be that this night this past night that a car would run into a place where I usually sleep at in a, in a, on a lot of cases in a lot of cases so uh Oh, all right, well, I got to go. Love you guys. Your boy Reg will be just fine. God got me. He'll take care of me. Love you. God bless.